While some races were called early last night, a few took a bit longer to get results. My co-anchor Jesse Inman is joining us now from the Greene County Election Center to explain this delay. Jesse, you spoke with the Greene County clerk a short time ago to explain what happened. What can you tell us? Yeah, Jen, I'm here at the Greene County Election Center where just uh, about a minute ago, crews dropped off the last of the voting equipment back here at the Election Center. But some races last night did have their results delayed for a couple of reasons, according to Shane Scholler, the Greene County clerk. He says that would be because of write-in votes and overseas votes for military members. That's why you didn't see results for things like the five Missouri House District races come in for the Springfield area until late last night. Scholler says the rest of the day here at the Greene County Election Center will be spent mostly certifying provisional ballots. He says he expects that process to go pretty smoothly, but uh, that is something that they'll be doing the rest of the day. Scholler says the process for write-in votes is a tedious one. He says voting machines recognize when a voter chooses a write-in candidate, but the individual write-in votes themselves, they have to be hand-tallied to determine who they're for. He says that's because uh, the county saw more write-in votes than he recalls in recent memory. That's why it took a little bit longer than usual. Some races, like the House District race for 136, they're still waiting on a small number of those military votes we told you about from those voting overseas. And Scholler says those could be finished anytime between now and next Monday. So anyone who votes military and overseas, they have until either Friday at noon, or if it's a holiday like this Friday, Monday at noon for those ballots to be received. So we're waiting for those to be received. And then um, once we certify, those will be part of the final certification results that we release. So Jen, like I said, the rest of the day here at the Greene County Election Center is going to be spent certifying those provisional ballots, just matching up those signatures. Scholler expects that to go smoothly. But let's focus right now on the five House districts that voters took to the polls for last night. Four of those five races are reporting 100 percent of the votes in. Let's take a look. In District 132, the top Democrat in Missouri, that would be incumbent House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid, She'll defeat Stephanos Freeman, getting 56% of the vote. In District 133, Republican incumbent Melanie Stinnett will beat newcomer Amy Blancett, winning 52% of the vote. District 133, that sees Republican Alex Riley defeating Democrat Samantha Deaton with 63% of the vote. And then Democrat incumbent Betsy Fogel, she'll hang on to her District 135 seat, beating Republican challenger A.J. Exner with 56% of the vote there. And in District 136, finally, Democrat challenger Stephanie Hine clinging to a small lead over Republican incumbent Craig Fischel, leading by just 202 votes. That's an upset potentially brewing for you there. Just those military votes left to be counted. And Scholler says he isn't sure if that's going to be enough to push Fischel over the edge to hold on to his seat, something we'll keep an eye on the rest of the day for you here. At on color 10 and ozarks uh, ozarksfirst.com in springfield jesse inman ozarks first